Hello families, this is Miss Gabby from Excel and today we're going to talk about writing. If you came to school and picked up an activity bag, then that's great because you will find some fantastic tips and activities inside that bag to help your child develop writing skills. Now, if you did not come to school to pick up a bag, it's no problem. Stay with me because I am going to give you some fantastic tips on things that you can do at home to help your child become a better, stronger writer. So what are early writing skills? Early writing skills are things such as knowing how to use pencils, crayons, markers, and other writing tools to draw and do some writing. Drawing pictures that express ideas and stories. Yes, drawing is a very important part of writing. When children draw stories and ideas, they develop this wonderful creativity that makes them feel like writers because they are. Knowing how to write some letters in their first name, knowing how to use letters to create simple words to express ideas, and knowing that writing is a way to communicate with others. All of those are early writing skills. Now, when do they learn? Children usually learn writing skills during their preschool years. And writing is more than just pencil and paper. It works kind of like a loop. And you will see why. Reading experiences help with writing development. And writing development helps with reading experiences. Children see and interact with print in books, magazines, signs, and even grocery lists. Your child will begin to show an interest in writing words as they learn to recognize and write some letters. Now, why is early writing important? An early goal is to help children understand that spoken language can be written down and then read. Developing early writing skills is very important for later reading success. The more language and early writing experiences your child has, the more prepared your child will be for learning how to read and write in kindergarten. Now, how do they learn? Children learn about writing by watching others and when they are given the opportunities to write. Now, remember, writing requires fine motor skills that children develop over time. You can help your child develop fine motor skills with pegs, string beans, Play-Doh, building with Legos, and other hands activities. Now, why is it so important for us to help your children develop those fine motor skills? Because the way that our body develops is from the core, the center of the body, out. So first, we strengthen our core, and as we grow, we start developing more strength in our arms and then our fingers, for example. So when your child sometimes says, oh, my hand hurts after drawing or writing for a long time, they're not lying. Their hand really hurts. But the best way that you can help your child with that is by giving them lots of things to do with their hands, such as playing with Play-Doh. Playing with Play-Doh is a great thing that you can do with your child to help their little muscles become nice and strong so that they can write with confidence. Now, what can I do to help my child? Well, show your child that writing is everywhere for starters. Write and draw as much as possible with your child. Keep a notepad and pencils or crayons in the car. Encourage your child to copy street signs, store logos, or even help you write shopping lists. Encourage your child to use drawings to express ideas and tell stories. Help your child write their name, familiar words, and even some simple sentences. Why not? Some children can start to write sentences at this age. Now, I'm going to give you guys a challenge. Create a writing box. You can include things such as paper, pencils, markers, crayons, chalk, dry erase boards, markers, scissors, glue, stamps, clipboards, or anything else that can be used for writing or drawing. Remember to make writing fun, and you see that your children will really enjoy it. Now, you might be wondering, how do I know where is my child in the journey of becoming a writer? So I'm gonna show you this sheet that should be in your package too. 
This sheet explains the different stages of writing for preschoolers. Now, let's take a moment and take a closer look at this sheet. Let's take a look at the writing stages of a preschooler. Now, these writing stages go in a certain order from one to six, and children cannot skip any of these stages. They all go through this, so they all go through every single one of the stages to get to the sixth stage, which is the ideal, ready for kindergarten stage. Now, I am going to say this, and I cannot stress it enough. If your baby is not on number six, don't worry about it. They'll get there. The best thing that you can do is to help them continue to develop whatever stage they're on so that they can move on to the next stage. So even if your child is in stage number one, your child can get to that stage number six with a little bit of encouragement. So stage number one is drawing and scribbling. Is when a child draws and scribbles lines and circles. Now, these are not just like your child grabbed a pencil and started hitting a page. These are scribbles that make sense. As you can see, this scribble is done all together and it looks like the child never lifted the pencil. That means that the child is starting to learn how to have control over their scribble, over what they're writing. Then we have stage number two, which is pictures. In the case of this, you can see that there is a picture that the child drew. And when the teacher asked, what, what did you draw? He's like, this is my sister. He's drawing pictures that look like something that have meaning for him. Then in stage number three, you can see that ch children start to understand that writing is separate from pictures. So in this case, the child makes a drawing and then write some scribbles on the right of the drawing that, according to the child, he's told the teacher that it says, a flower for my mom. So there he drew the flowers and then wrote some scribbles saying, a flower to my mom. For him, those scribbles mean a flower to my mom, which is wonderful because even though that does not look like any kind of writing, they understand that it is separate from the flower. And not only that, but in his mind, he knows that this sentence, a flower for my mom, has different words. So he's written them separately. Then the child writes shapes and lines that look like letters. That's stage number four. In stage number four, you can see that the child is either scribbling lines that are together that look as if they were a word, or you can see that at the bottom, the child has started to make symbols that could either resemble letters or numbers. And in the case of this child, he wrote a note for daddy. Then children start using what they know. In the case of this child, this child has written the word macaroni. Now, if you can see, he's used all sorts of letters and numbers and just kind of put them together to write a word that he knows. Now, these letters and numbers do not spell macaroni by any means, but he's used what's familiar to him to try to express that word that he's trying to tell us. And the best way for him to do that is by using those letters and numbers that he already knows how to write. And then finally, stage six, ready for kindergarten stage, is when the child writes sounds that they hear in words. Like let's say, for example, the first word is cat. The child wrote the letter K because they heard that sound k -k of the letter C for cat. That sounds the same as the letter K. So for them, that's how you would write cat. Or baby, they heard that B sound and they hear it twice. So it's baby. And then finally, they have I love you which they wrote the letter I, and then they thought, oh, how do I write love? Mm. Ooh, yep, that's the sound. So that must be the letter of how I write love. And then they wrote the letter U, because, you know, U, the long vowel sound makes the sound of the word U the same as, that is the same name as the word that they're trying to write. So they make sense of that. And they think, that's how you write, I love you. All of the stages are fantastic. Remember, if your child is at any given stage, 
they're on great track and they're on track to become writers. Just continue to provide them with some support and you will see that your kiddos will do fantastic. Now, parents, I have something very important to share with you. You and you alone have the most impact in your child's learning and what they will become. Remember, you parents have the biggest influence in your child's life. As you play and learn with your child, you will discover amazing things about the way your child thinks. So have fun, laugh, play together. See you next time.